What's up, guys? How's it going? What do you got? Um, some tools I was wondering if you would be interested in. Okay. Charger that goes with it? Oh. Yeah, it's too heavy in the bed. Buy it off you if you want a strictly pod. If you want to get it back, you gotta go Woodstock for my cannery. I guess I could sell it. So, um, looking at three. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be even close, my friend. For all four? Yeah. Remember, these are used tools, you know? I know. You know, when I bought that one a month ago, it was like 400 and that was 150 without the battery. I know, I know they're not selling for that So brand new, it's 214. Okay. This unit. That's new, you know? So... Ah. 209, you know? Even. So, okay. it's just, there's no way I can even come close to that price that you want. On everything that you got here from me, you're gonna be looking at about buck fifty. That's about it. Including this one? Including this one. There's just the reality of use tools, you know, and I need to make money here, as simple as that. Oh well, so, I understand. You know. It's totally your call, my friend. You're more than welcome to shop around, but let me see what you got first. Let me take a look. Let me think right. about it. <laughs> who's who? Who's who? How are you, sir? What can I do for you? What I can do for you? <laughs> what can you do for me, sir? I want to buy. She agrees. He didn't, he didn't like that. She didn't like that. No, not at all. The small uh, trolling motor there. Okay. So I'd like Let's take a look. something in on it if you would be interested. Well, it depends what you got. We definitely can do trays, you know. So. Oh. It should be something you can get rid of fairly easy. Yeah, I mean, I get a lot of contractors coming here, so somebody will need it for their landscaping trailer or something, you know. Yeah. You want to give me the difference for the trolling motor of 30 bucks? We have a deal. Good enough. Are you going to put it on a little rowboat or a canoe or, or what are you going to use it for? A kayak. A kayak. Perfect then. I build some kayaks myself. You do? And I'm building right now a sit on top. Sit on top. What does that mean? Well, you don't go down into the cockpit. You sit up higher. Oh, I see. Okay. And I want to try a small trolling motor on it. To see how it works? Yeah. Yes, and I didn't want to make an investment in a new one. Well, of course, yeah. Makes because sense. I'm going to cut it down. I don't need all this shaft. Oh, I see. Because you need just a little bit in the water. You don't need the whole thing to go in because right. this thing sits so shallow, probably. Right. And why buy a new one? and take the chance of, you know, yeah. Yeah. you're not yeah, working it, yeah. and make an investment this way instead. Yeah, for sure. So. Well, I hope your project works out. All right. I bought other items from you. I know, I know. I know. Back I know. And forth here and... <coughs> well, gosh, you got a squawk. You, uh, you want to buy a bird? No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Well, good luck to you with the okay. project. Okay, I'll let you know next time I'm in. All right. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? How much you want for those? Would you do those plus the 150? Uh, I can do probably like 135 in those. 
Uh, another question for you. Mm -hmm. Are you interested in a, I got a machine for pull up and it does dips. It's an Iron Man. I'll tell you what, I I have a couple machines way in the back. Yeah, I saw uh, them. They've been here forever. Exercise equipment, very hard for me to unload unless it's just dumbbells or, you know, just weights, you know. Well, this one is, that. there's no weights on it. I know, I understand, I understand, okay. but I didn't know. yeah, I, I, I'm gonna have to say no. Sorry. Okay. So what do you guys wanna do? Uh, 150 is a fast offer. Well, 150 cash or I can give you 135 and you can have the clubs, you know. Forty-five in the clubs. I mean, they're destroyed and beat up. He just needs something because he tried going yeah, to the course. Yeah, I know, like, nah. but he's still getting a bag. He's still getting, you know, a lot of them in there. <laughs> I, if you, if it helps you out, guys, I, I'll do buck forty on this and the clubs. I'll meet you in the middle. I can't go any higher. It just okay. doesn't make any sense. Let's do it. You want to do it? Let's do it. All right. I'll need your ID. I'll write you up and. Fifty, hundred, twenty, forty. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank hey, you. got a uh, question for you. Can, yes, I, can I look at one of those bowls over there that you got inside there? Mm -hmm. She's so smart. She knows what she just did. So I just went to the bathroom for 30 seconds. She was sitting up here on the door. As soon as I disappear, she climbs down. She cuts one of the cables. And she's got it in her mouth now. Yes. We're not coming out. That's it. That's it. You're staying in a cage all day. She, she, she doesn't eat this or anything like that. The guys don't get scared. She takes them completely apart. She likes to dismantle the plugs, right? She, she holds it in her hand and she takes it piece by piece and devours it till it's nothing left. And she just throws it on the ground. But mine as well, so she have fun. I hang the cable in there and you'll see in about an hour from now there'll be none of these ants left. How cute that turned out. Debbie, I got you on a film. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's so weird here without the music. I can't take this. So the internet is down. I called Comcast and of course, you know, Comcast has a monopoly here, right? There's nobody Everybody, else. Right. Everybody uses Comcast. When they go down, everybody goes down. <laughs> So we got no music because no. there's no internet. I can't do, Vicky can't post, well, you can no, kind of post on a phone. Right. She likes to use a computer a lot to do, to do research and stuff yeah. and things like that, but it's weird without uh, quiet, quiet with no music. All I got is Ruby squawking. I want to show you guys this cabinet here because you've seen the cabinet that we got in the other room, but remember I had two of them. Vicky had all these religious items that we had it for a long time. There was never a place, right? We had never a place no, to put them really in good. because they're little tiny and they would disappear. And this is a perfect spot. That look nice. And they display very nice in this cabinet. And we were actually already sold quite a few things out of this. There's a few other things here besides religious stuff, but actually that that little angel here with that light shining right on top of it oh, looks like it's cute. coming <laughs> it's coming from heaven oh, that's it's, cute. it's it is cute and then we got lance standing right next to it guarding it lance has been wearing this chicago bulls number 12 shirt but on top of it i got mj t-shirt from champion that somebody ruined it because somebody put a fake michael jordan signature on it and now it's like the guy came and he says hey listen uh, i got a signed jersey i'm like can you prove it well you know we took a picture when he was signing i'm like where's the picture i don't know i'm like dude this is not a real signature you just ruined a shirt completely so i'm asking for this nice shirt i don't even know how much i'm asking it looks new what happened to the tag there it is 65 bucks i mean Jersey itself is worth that much money, you know, but now it's kind of ruined by this signature because people are gonna ask Oh, how did you get this if somebody's wearing, you know, and it'd be like I drew on it. I, yeah, I guess I don't know. So I don't know what his signature looks like. No, definitely fake. Okay. Yeah, okay. definitely. I think this is the most fake signature 
<laughs> in the world. Seriously, because there's so much merchandise from him. Okay. Right? I mean, who who's more popular athlete than yeah. MJ? You know, Muhammad Ali, maybe. So I mean, he there's... doesn't sign like that. It no, no, that's not his. I had his. We had Michael Jordan real stuff here, and maybe only like twice or three times. Uh -huh. And uh, no, that's definitely not his signature. So my guitar is also offered. I mean, this things. is this is a nice clean guitar. You know? Oh yeah, I personally so. think this is better than a Martin. I love Alvarez. I've had him before. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love how that edge on this side. What, like this? No, no, see down here. Down here. Oh, down here. I see that. That is different. Yeah. Arms. So when your arm lays on it, oh. it feels very comfortable. Yeah. It's not like a sharp edge. Hey, screamer. Hey, white chicken. So check this out guys, this is half an hour later, a destroyer, look and all this stuff is laying down there in pieces, destroyer, destroyer, honey, one tree, one tree, yeah, All your viewers are sending you this stuff. Yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Good. Yeah. Are you jealous? Are you jealous, red chicken? Come on, girl. Come on. Step up. Step up. Come on. Come on. Don't be scared. Be scared. There you go. Good girl. So Vicky, Vicky's all smiling because I just bought like 150 records and there's some great titles and I pulled these out just and I showed her. She's like, I want to see this. I do. I do. I do. I still love them. What's, what's better, this or this? These. These. Nice. I know. Oh. What do you want to talk about first? <laughs> yeah, I just, you know, it's just, you just, when you love something, you love it forever. That's is, all. Is there... To Morrison, Morrison Hotel. Yeah. Oh, I love the sleeve. Is it the right but one? Can you smell them? Yeah, it's moldy a little bit. Yeah, they came out out of Will a basement away? somewhere. Air them Ooh, up? that's not even inside the sleeve. Look at that. Yeah. yeah it's okay. to be cleaned. Yeah. This, I, this is the sleeve I remember mine had. Yeah. Electra. No, but the way you took it out, it wasn't. It was in. out. Yeah, yeah, it was out already. So, yeah, look at them. So, what year is that record you said? Morrison Hotel, 1970. The year that I was born. <gasps> there you go. <laughs> so. It's a good year. Classic. I love when they opened I don't think I remember anything album? from this album. <gasps> this is a good album. Like. Yes, I I listened to the doors here and there, but not I was crazy fan like you are for that. True. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. I had my own bands that mm -hmm. I would go crazy for. Who were but they? From like rock bands? Yeah. Like for example, I'm sure I'll have it here. Like look at this. Judas Priest. Priest. I wasn't I wasn't a fan, but oh. uh, I like this band. So this is more, see, but this is more alternative. This is already 80s, The Cure, right? right? But like UFO, I really like UFO, yeah. you know? Um, I like different stuff. The Who. Uh, I was more fan of The Who than I was yeah, of The Door. That so makes sense. look at this, Grateful Dead. That's, oh. now that the album is in good condition, but the cover, man, it's ripped. And look at this one, Black Sabbath. I mean, that's oh. a classic. It is. What year is this one? It's 1971, so exactly same era. Yeah, I got some it's pretty really it's good, really good titles in here. It's scratched. It's very scratched, actually. Yeah, and it's got some mold. The, oh. That needs to be cleaned. Will it come off? That will come off. The, the, the cleaning part is not a big deal. It's the scratches. Yeah. That side is actually not, not, as not bad. too bad, but yeah, it's not. It does. Yeah, it's moldy. It's, it, it was sitting in a basement who knows how long, you know? 
that means I'll get a bargain on it. And these two guys, you know, they, they hunt for LPs <laughs> all the time. So they, they, they find the stuff like in the darkest places, you know. Yeah. I'm like, probably, it was funny, they came in and I'm like, probably the guy who sold it to you guys is already dead. And they started oh. both laughing because <laughs> they, <laughs> the guy is dead and they yeah. bought it off his son. Oh, you know? of course. We're all going to die and so, our stuff is left behind. What's going on with this? Can we tell anybody? Yeah, why Anything? not? Who is it? Can you tell? Can I you know. guys tell? Who is that? Let me let me focus that. Zoom in a little bit. There we go. Got it. Can you guys tell? So we are thinking this is late, mid to late 40s. 40s before he died with his wife. We are thinking, it's hard to tell because she's sitting kind of towards the side. Yeah. We try to compare some pictures of his wife, but that's Beirut sitting at some kind of game. I don't think this picture was ever shown to anybody anywhere, you know? It looks like a candid shot. So we found this through going, Vicky was going through a bunch of pictures from Kamiski. And right. it, it makes sense, right? I mean, yeah. Who else would have had a Beirut picture? So it's probably at a White Sox game. It might be at a White Sox <laughs> game. Who knows? It's just a spectator. So no, no. date on it, but it's Nothing. one of a kind. Um, what are you thinking? We originally said five, six hundred dollars. That's no. too much. It's not signed. What do you think, Vic? A couple hundred, maybe. Maybe three. three. Yeah. Two ninety-nine. How about two ninety-nine? I I would think this is rare. It is pretty rare, I think. It's not a, a staged And it's photo. still in a very good condition. It's not yellowed or anything. Nope. I mean, it, it's got a little crease on one side, tiny but bit. But it's exactly him, you can tell. Yeah. Cool piece of history, that's for sure. Yeah. We don't know what stadium they are sitting in. I'm not 100% sure if that's his wife or somebody else. Nope. That's him. That's him. Yep. And, and he wait. died when? 1948. 48, I think. Okay, so. Right? I think. I think oh, so. so. 48. Okay. He was what, 53 years old? We said or something. Well, that's very young. Yeah. Okay. So. Too bad it's not signed because if this was signed, I could retire now probably. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Marty, buy something. I got you on film. Buy I'll something. Take it all. You I'll take, take it all. Everything. <laughs> How is the new shop going? Good. It's going very well. That's nice. I'll be in here tomorrow shopping. Okay. Buying, not shopping. Buying. Buying. Buying tomorrow. I need people buying right now. You have things I need. So the gentleman who just left, so that you just guys saw, we used to call him a donut guy. Yeah. <laughs> Marty is his real name. Sweet He's guy. been a friend for a very long time. He actually, he runs our alarm system here. He does heating and cooling. He does a lot of stuff over the years that he did for us, actually. But he would also buy a ton of stuff from us for his business, lots of tools, you know. He was here almost every other day. Sometimes yeah. he was here every day. That's why we called him a donut guy, because mm -hmm. he would bring us donuts every single right. day from a local place that's just down the street that make tremendous donuts. And we miss him. <laughs> well, we not really yeah. miss him. But anyway, what I'm getting at, Marty went this year for Marty it's been nuts so actually started last year because Marty had a stroke back in September a year ago right and was really in bad shape and recovered not fully but he's still decent, decent. Yeah, his yeah. speech came back his, his arm his yeah, arm came great. back he's walking with no cane now yeah. he's looking but so and then Five months later, it's it's like February. This is before, right before Corona starts happening, right? Mm -hmm. He gets um, shingles. Right. She gets shingles, built a really bad case. Oh. He has to quarantine, stay at home because of it. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. That it that something happened and caused them to have uner you call it unerism? aneurysm. Aneur aneurysm. I, I, I could never say it, aneurysm. Yeah. So he's ready to go in for the operation and then the virus happens, so they postponed. So he's living with this blood clot in his brain, right? Mm -hmm. He can have the operation done. April rolls around, he catches the corona. Mm -hmm. 
he goes through the corona. I don't know how this guy survived this. Actually, he didn't even know he had it. He wasn't too knocked down from it for some odd reason. Well, the, somehow he got tested and they told him to quarantine, but he went through it pretty relatively smoothly. Yeah, you know? amazing. <laughs> and finally, finally, yeah, a month ago, or maybe it's now more, maybe it's yeah, a couple months now, after, you know, the elective surgery, they brought him back, you know, and, and all this stuff started happening again. Right. As far as like doing surgeries, he goes through the surgery, it goes smooth and he's doing good now. But he this really guy is, is super amazing. happy, like <laughs> amazing. Cheerful. Cheerful, you know? Yeah. And you think you have problems? I mean, this guy, what he went through the last year is just incredible. Yeah, he's happy to be able to get out and there he's and he's in his, his mid to late 60s, you know? Yeah. And he's full of life, so yeah. I wish everybody was like that. It's just absolutely it's really amazing. nice to see him in here. Nice to see him. And he stops, mm -hmm. he, he doesn't go around as much anymore, but every time he gets like a few empty boxes with supplies, he brings them over. He, Pete, I got some boxes for yeah. you. So cute, he so gave nice. A good hug today, so yeah. just like in the old days. Look at her. I got the safe open, and look who's in there waiting, waiting. patiently for her snack. Yeah, well, it's going to be a while. We're not closing for another hour, honey. <laughs> All right, guys. This is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.